Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com. Today we're coming to you from Mount Sinai Medical Center in New York. We're here today for a very special event known as the Valve Reconstruction Workshop. During a two-day conference, surgeons and cardiologists from around the world will gather to discuss, learn from, and collaborate about the best practices and the best techniques for valve repair, also known as valve reconstruction. Let's go inside. Today's events are gonna be held at the Mitral Foundation Center, a special state-of-the-art facility that was designed for advanced learning and education. The surgeons that are here from, are from all over the world. They got to see techniques, ask questions, interact with our guest panelists. They go away with incredibly enhanced knowledge on what to do, what not to do, when to call for help and things like that. So I, th I think it was overall a very positive experience. It is utterly important for the patient to keep his own valve because if we look at results on the long term, replacement versus repair, the survivors of the repair will double the survivors of the replacements. So one of the reasons that I really like this event is that we have the opportunity to be in this institution, which is one of the best in the world, and to be able to work with Dr. Adams and his team. So we'll really be able to get lots of expertise and very specialist inside information of the complex repairs that, uh, that he and his team undertake every day. So one of the key parts of the valve reconstruction workshop are the live surgeries. This is a chance where Dr. Adams can talk in real time with all the folks attending the event in the Mitral Foundation Conference Center. The video projects that we have here are amazing and I think they're very uh, educational for all surgeons. So we can use them for these meetings. We have live cases. We can do all sorts of things to just get the information out to people so that they can see it in, in a video form. The fact we're able to digitally capture this and transmit it now gives us a much broader platform for education in the future, but it's always about the patient. This patient and future patients, because when you have this kind of technology now and you can really lead these discussions with surgeons, they're all here for their patients. They're not here for themselves. They're not getting famous down there taking two days out of their practice. They're trying to get better at this so they can go back home and help their own patients. In terms of benefits for the patients, it's, it's very clear that a repair is, is definitely better than a replacement. You need to go to a surgeon a clinic, a center, where mitral valve repair is an important focus because it's not the surgical skills, it's also the skills of the, the entire team. Patients nowadays have so many choices and I think it's important for them to know that the surgeons that they're visiting have had every opportunity to learn the most up-to-date techniques from some of the world's greatest experts. Well, I, I think the most important thing, Adam, I would emphasize is the importance of a team. This, this is not me. I'm, I'm lucky. I get to be the quarterback, but that's like a looking at the Super Bowl winner and saying you have a good quarterback. It's, it's a lot of players in a lot of different positions, but I've got a giant group of people behind me that make this all work. 